I've got my scammers. Uh, the address, home address, right here on the other side of this paper that I'm holding. So, no BS, it's really there. But, um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it uh, at this point. Also, I've got some rice here. So, I got some rice. I got some Thai curry, Thai green curry. And, uh, and uh, I'll just go ahead and uh, make a quick thumbnail if you don't mind. It'll just take a second. So, got this and this. So I'm gonna try to go from whispering to soft smoking back and forth in this video. Because uh, I'm by as smart as to do that, and it'll be me to try it. Not me in my videos, I just I choose one or the other, I don't go back and forth. So I either do a soft spoken or I do a, a whisper video. But yeah, at this resort, I check people in, check people out, big reservations. And she did the same thing. We were both front desk agents. And um, I hadn't been working with her for very long, maybe about six months or something like that. And uh, she asked me for money, about $300 to borrow. And um, I had said, said I had said yes, and um, gave her the money, and uh, she did pay me back. And uh, it didn't take her too long to pay me back. Man, that's good, Curry. Um, she borrowed my car once. I let her borrow my. It was my parents' car actually, but and. Uh, for a number of days and when she brought it back there was something wrong with it but I don't think it was her fault honestly I mean it's not like she'd be taking the car off some jumps or something like that but um yeah so I had built up some trust with this girl because she always paid me back and or brought back the vehicle and stuff like that. And, um, but she had quit her job and then uh, she, uh, and I knew that she quit. And then she asked me again for some money. And I said, how much? And she said, $500. And I said to her like, any money because I don't know if you have a job to be back right and uh, she was like oh I got some I got a job lined up and uh, I didn't ask her what the money she, what she wanted was before but I figured it'd probably be something important I 
Also got a couple apples on deck. In case I run out of food here. It's a problem in my YouTube videos. I run out of food pretty often, so. But, um. So yeah, I mean, she said she had a job lined up. I lent her the money. She said she'd pay me back by the end of the month in full. And the month rolled by and I received no money from her. You know, a week went by. I texted her like about five times asking her where the money was. She didn't respond at all. Her Facebook's locked. Didn't respond to my text messages. I still haven't received a dime from her. And now I, uh, I won't tell you how I got her address. And um, but um, because I think that's probably not important, but and um. But now I'm just not sure what to do. Like, I mean, I'm super pissed about this. Not as any most people would be. I have been in the habit of lending people money, but uh, people I worked with and stuff like that, but they always pay me back and stuff. So I didn't think she would do this. You know, it's funny, sometimes you just don't know whether you're working with you seem like a responsible person. And, um, I also heard something that she was gonna get sued by somebody else. This was after I w she scammed me out of that money. Cause she was living up here, right? Yeah. She was living with, uh, Coworker, and she, I guess the coworker was giving her money um, for the electrical bill, but she wasn't paying her electrical bill. And uh, this lady, um, yeah, so um, she just kind of like, so now she owes that money too. Um... Uh -huh. 
some side meat and part of the part of investing is just not making mistakes, you know, a part of profiting from investing. Like I had um, put some money into a GIC, a guaranteed investment certificate, I believe it's called. It's been earning me some interest, but I think, you know, I've gained about $300 from that. And I've had that for about six months or something. But I mean, losing $500, 100% of $500 to this scammer, I mean, and it's been months since I lent you that money. And um, yeah, I mean, that money's gone. It's just like, it doesn't matter if you're investing a lot of money and you're diligent about that. I mean, if you're doing stupid stuff like I did, like lending this girl money, I mean, I should have, I should have glued in then. You know, like she, if she wasn't gonna keep working with me, if she kept working with me, she wouldn't want me confronting her at work about the money she owed me, about her not paying. I should have said to myself, this lady is not working with us anymore. So she doesn't, she could just go anywhere. I mean, not pay me back. I don't even know where she's going. So, um, but, um, but you know, uh, one thing I noticed about, I bought this new phone. It's an iPhone, the uh, Pro Max. And um, I noticed that the notes application where you can write notes uh, is on the cloud. I think it's called the iCloud. And uh, so I can I, uh, write notes on my phone and then automatically the notes will appear on my iMac computer because they're both Apple devices and which is pretty cool because before what I was doing is I was copying and pasting uh, the notes from my phone into an email and emailing myself the notes and then copy and pasting again from that email on my computer my iMac and uh, pasting that into a Word document so it's just nicer than being in the body of the email. So actually I don't have to do that anymore, which is cool. But um, I totally forgot I was supposed to do a spending update in this video. Because I normally do that. And um, I think I'll have to just because I haven't prepared my spreadsheet yet. But I think I'll have to because um, do that in this video. I mean, not prepare the spreadsheet in the video, but do the spending update in this video.
then it makes you want to come back to the video because you watch a piece of the video and then stop and then do something else then a couple of days later come back to the same video and that gets me more views and stuff like that and I guess you could kind of just do the same with multiple videos but I think for ASMR people like watching longer videos and stuff so now I um I should tell you that I did a thumbnail test which is pretty cool so YouTube has this feature now where you can um where you can test to see two thumb two thumbnails so two images that uh thumbnails like that picture above a video title that you see on YouTube and that represents the video and um, now now if you're not sure sure or sure what kind of thumbnail to put up you can test with two thumbnails Night audit now at work. 
working. I should have just worked. I started last night at 10 p.m. and I worked until 6 o'clock this morning. And it's like night a lot, so it's working in the hotel like.
so I think I should try to get better at it and, and if I get better at it to the point where it's I'm not suffer, uh, struggling anymore at that point I'll decide if I want to quit the job or not but it's hard to say I mean I 
myself a small child, but my role plays always do well, pretty much, except for one video. And um, I don't really know why I didn't do that great, but it was a tea shop role play. And I was drinking tea and stuff, and um, that one didn't do so hot, but pretty much all my other role plays did really well. And uh, so three role plays per month, and I was just thinking about going all out with the role plays, like maybe doing a green screen and. Uh, Maybe getting some costumes and stuff like that, and actually spending some money on some materials for once. Because right now I don't spend any money on materials, I just do it like this, right? So, um, yeah. Then I would do about once a month, I would do a spending update and life update video, ramble video. And then four eating videos with no talking. And then about four Wikipedia reading videos. Uh, yes, and these are all ASMR um, per month. And then maybe uh, once every about two months I would do maybe a live stream. And uh, the live streams actually get decent views, but the problem is like when I'm actually doing the live stream, I only get about 30 viewers. So, which is okay, but it would motivate me more if I had more viewers during the live stream, but. necessarily gonna do this and quit my job and do this but it's an idea that I have and uh, basically uh, I would just like triple my content production because right now I'm only doing one video a week pretty much so well let me just see what else I was gonna say uh, um, I heard that 7-Elevens in the United States I don't know about Canada, but changing their business model to be more like the Japanese 7 Eleven business model, where they're constantly looking at the data about, who's, about how much of which product is being sold at 7 Eleven, stuff like that. And they're going to be selling a lot more food, which is. Pretty cool. Man, I watched just some of them quite a bit when I lived in Regina. Speaking of sale limit, I don't know if I still have my member's card, which gives you, you can redeem for discounts on food and stuff like that. Even if you don't have the card, you can type in your phone number on, I can type in your phone number on uh, touch, touch screen. Um, I'm scared, my, I'm scared my voice is going to crack when I'm doing soft spoken. Uh, or it's going to be too loud and not sound like ASMR, it's just going to sound like me talking, but um, let me just see. Yeah, I, uh, I want to to hit to five hundred dollars made in, in the month of June on YouTube, but I didn't get there. I made about four ninety. But that won't pay out till July twenty first or twenty second. But um Went on a walk with my mom, which is nice. Um, long walk, pretty much. Um, but, um, yeah, the, the cons, if I did move to China, the cons is just being far away from my parents, you know. It's about a four hour drive away from my parents, so. Let me just see. Uh, I bought these strawberries. And then I 
bought these strawberries on Canada Day, and uh, they were about $15, so kind of pricey, but uh, they were really good, actually, so uh, I guess that's what kind of happens when you buy them from, like, a farmer's market, or maybe you don't buy them from a supermarket. They can be pretty expensive, and there's just, like, some guy selling them beside his van, this guy and his son, I think, but, uh, so, and you, I guess you're wondering how much I got, but I'm not sure about the weight, but it was about a box about yay long and about yay deep and maybe a bit shallower, but um, another thing I thought for my YouTube channel is to make um, like just variations of eating videos like I can this guy recently who was subscribed, I think, he asked me, he's like, can you do another licorice eating video worth no talking? I'm like, I'm thinking like, I don't really understand why you don't want me to make another one of those because I already have that video. So, I mean, if I make another one of those videos, how is it going to be any different from the video I first produced? But, I mean, if that's what he wants, and if that's what some people want, then I can just, like, do one video where it's like I'm eating one brand of black licorice, another video where I'm eating another brand of black licorice, and both that be no talking, and if that works, that works, you know? It's like, I think that's kind of what a lot of successful YouTubers do. YouTubers that have way more followers or subscribers than I do. It's just very slight variations to their videos and, and stuff like that. And, uh, man, I kind of want to go off my medications and go traveling. I'm on an antipsychotic and antidepressant right now, but getting to test of issues with the antidepressant, I think, but, um, we're gonna go on to the spending update now. Alright, so I'm just gonna do a spending update. This is for June 2024, and money is in Canadian dollars. And uh, so for the annual fee, I got an annual fee for the. So I start with the money that I spent on. Um, Bill. And now toys. 
for myself. I bought this wind, uh, dead cat wind muff that you're seeing right now on this cover for my microphone, which is supposed to stop the wind noises and stuff. Um, I bought that, I bought a case uh, for my iPhone and uh, a screen protector for my iPhone and that was about uh, 50 bucks or so and then the, the Belkin the MagSafe charger I bought which does wireless charging for my iPhone um, that was $167.99 
I was thinking about doing live streams actually, where um, I would just use some data on my phone and go on 5G or 4G and do live streams on maybe ASMR when I'm like walking through a park and that have nice background and stuff like that, but I'm not totally sure if I'm gonna do that yet. I don't know, but 
not judging, that's how I've just felt that I'm not judging anybody who's been a player to play for a long period of time. Bye.